Hi, my name is Georgi Odulov and I would like to show the implementation and measurement of a band pass filter, a tank kilohertz band pass filter. A simple passive filter uh, we'll design in MoodySim. We'll simulate it, then we'll implement it here on a breadboard and measure it with the MyDAC device. Uh, first, uh, let's see the filter. So uh, here I show it uh, on the screen. And uh, it is a simple uh, bandpass filter with a, a high pass uh, section and a low pass section. To simulate uh, the characteristic, we attach uh, an AC signal source and we will run an AC simulation. From simulate, we go to analysis and simulation and here we can configure the AC sweep. This is the simulation window in frequency domain, so we want from 10 kHz to 10 MHz. And here we um, set what will be the output that we want to monitor. In this case I defined uh, with an expression that I want the node V out divided by V in. So this will give me the transfer characteristic. And then if I click here run, what I'll get is the body plot. I get two plots, this is the magnitude transfer versus frequency and this is the, fre uh, the phase transfer versus frequency. Uh, in the AC simulation I said that I want from 10 Hz to 10 MHz and then uh, I get the body plots, the magnitude transfer and the phase transfer. And what we see is that I have the highest transfer around 10 kHz and uh, the phase rotates uh, low frequency from plus 90 degrees through zero around 10 kHz to minus 90 degrees. The center frequency can be calculated as uh, 1 divided by 2 pi CR and in this case C is uh, the same 1 nanofarad and R is 15.9 uh, kilo ohms. Uh, and this will produce this filter. So at the middle here, in the central frequency around 10 kHz, we have uh, one-third transfer. So now I want to implement this uh, filter and measure it on the breadboard. So this is the device uh, that I'll use, the MyDAC of National Instruments. First I want to find the appropriate components. So I need 15.9 uh, kilo ohm. So now it is it is running. Yes. Now let's see if I have good resistors. So you can, if you want, you can here read the color code. If I can show it to the camera. It, it will not focus, or perhaps this one. So there is a color code. If you want, you can read it and find the appropriate resistors. Alternatively, you can just simply measure the components. So uh, this is here. Okay, so this is 15 kilo ohms approximately 50 kilo so this this will be good. Then I need another perhaps let me see this to measure it. And this is about 15, a little bit less and that's that will give us a little bit of uh, shift. So I need now 1 kilo ohm addition, 900 ohms. This is, this is okay. And then if I put them in series, I'll get about 16 kilo ohm, 15.9, which is you know, close enough. I don't have many components, so I cannot exactly and this is about good. So as a single resistor I will use these two series. And then um, 
Unfortunately, I don't have now the tools to measure capacitances. So um, what I can do is uh, this is capacitance. Mm, here it is. And if you look closely, there is a code in it. Unfortunately, here the camera will not focus, but I will upload a photo of the code through a microscope. You can go to the internet, a website, and then you can uh, check what is the capacitance according to this code. So in, I have already checked this, and this is one now. For now, uh, let's start uh, simple, and for for this, uh, so first I want to build a very simple low pass and high pass. Uh, so this is this is ready. I want to build a low pass and high pass uh, filter just to check the time constant of this uh, RC group in in practice. So for this, uh, I can use the body analyzer of the MIDAC. And this is it. So I'll put it here. So it will measure the stimulus on the unlock input zero. And uh, so, so this is the stimulus, which is the signal generator of the MIDAC. And this part of my DAC, I should measure the response. Here I'm instructed how to make the, the connections. And actually I need to connect both A input 0 and A output 0. So that it can measure exactly what is the input. And then I have to measure the response from unlock input 1. This will be my signal. I can show you now. What this means here, here are the inputs. So this here is the analog input A, A I one and zero, and you see that it's a differential. While here is the analog output A out zero, and it has two ports zero and one. Now the problem is that unlock input 0 and 1, their differential, you see that there you have 0 plus 0 minus and 1 plus and 1 minus. Well, I want to measure single-ended. So for this reason, what I did is that I defined a common analog ground, which will be this wire, the uh, black wire and then to this ground here very locally I connected the analog ground then I connected with a small cable the analog ground of the analog input port here then I connected to this the analog input 0 minus you can see the connections and then from analog input 0 minus, I connected also the unlock input 0, uh, 1, 1 minus. So they are all locally connected. Then I have one common wire for the stimulus for the input signal that will be tested. See where it's connected, and it's connected also unlock output 0 and unlock input plus. Here it is, the purple cable. I have another cable. This is simply unlock input one plus, which will be uh, connected to measure the response. So in this camera also I can show the, the connections. Perhaps you can pause the video, you can see my configurations. Yeah, again to recap, the ground goes from analog ground of unlock output then it goes to the analog ground of unlock input port then from there the ground goes 
to unlock input 0 minus and from there it goes to unlock input 1 minus and the unlock output 0 is connected with locally with unlock input 0 plus okay so now I'll have here this this rail will be my ground so I'll connect it uh, say here and this rail here will be my ground and here then I will provide the uh, stimulus and I'll measure the response with this one then uh, let's let's connect first a very simple low pass filter then I'll have uh, an uh, RC stage and let's connect it here like this and then in series I will have the one kilo ohm. So here is what, what I did. So this is 15 and this is about uh, 1 kilo, so 16, a little bit less, and they are connected in series. And now I'll connect the 1 nanofarad. I'll connect it so from this point to the ground. Here it is. This is the the RC stage R and then C to ground and now I'll measure it so I'll connect the ground here the stimulus goes to the input and this goes to the output and then um, let's see what I'll get so I want to measure say from about 1k now maximum this equipment can measure to 20k so this is not not excellent but this is the maximum range let's get one volt then like 20 steps per decade. that's it and now we run the sweep Now it's measuring. This is the frequency sweep. Yeah, and now I can see where is the 3dB frequency. So the cursors, activate the cursors I take. And I know that at the 3dB frequency I will have 45 degrees phase rotation which is about here so this is a little bit higher than uh, ah, it's 10 kHz so there is a little bit of shift not exactly 10 kHz 10 kHz is a little bit here with more accurate uh, components I can get more oh, this is this is this is accurate you know this is about about 3 kHz and you can see the frequency now how it goes starts from 0 and it rotates at the corner frequency minus 45 degrees and then it will complete in higher frequency the minus 90 degrees so this is about corner frequency of um, uh, of 10 kHz and um, alright so now, now I I have to connect the high pass, high pass stage. So uh, what I will do is uh, this resistor is actually should should be also to ground. Like this. 
So this will be the low pass stage and then in series here I'll have the capacitor and the resistor two resistors in series Here it is. So uh, this is the high pass stage, the 15.9 kilo ohm in series with one nanofarad capacitor. This will be the output node here. So from here, you have two capacitors which form 15.9 kilo ohm to ground, and from here to ground a capacitor a capacitor of one nano so two resistors 15.9 kilo ohm to ground and one capacitor of one nano and now i'll connect the circuit and measure the bump pass uh, characteristic Here it is. So let's see the, the characteristic. Just for comparison, I'll move it here. So this is the face, and this is the amplitude. Yeah, here we reach the maximum. So you see that here. At the output in dB scale, we have the one third, which is about minus 9 dB. And exactly at this point, the phase rotation is zero. Yeah. Here it is, this is zero. This is zero. So perhaps the values are not really. Let's let's run it again for more higher accuracy. See what happens. But um, in practice, we have parasitics, and you see that the characteristic deviates a little bit from what we designed with ideal components. Particularly here. So it's a little bit short of 10 kilohertz, it's a little bit less of 10 kilohertz. You can you can further fine tune it if you want. You can remove, for example, the one kilo ohm uh, resistor and see see what happens. So so hi, I tuned uh, the circuit. I removed uh, the one kilo ohm resistors in series, and now I have only the 15 uh, kilo ohm resistors. And then I hope that with the parasitic capacitances that are anyway in the circuit and in the, in the cables, uh, the uh, frequency will be shifted to 10 kilohertz. To 10 kilohertz. So here it is. What I did, you can see in the in the, in the circuit. Yeah, so 15, and then in series with this capacitor, one nano, and then 15 in parallel with one nano to ground. And this is the output, this is the input. And I'll measure here at this point, see what is the response. So this is the ground. And this is the input, and this will be the output. All right, so let's zoom for you to see here what we are measuring. Like this, so this is 
this is ground this is the input it goes here the signal resistor capacitor this is the output this node I'm probing it here and from this so basically this this rail I have a capacitor and a resistor to ground and this whole rail here is the ground so let's uh, let's measure it so the measurements are running it's about uh, center frequency it's about uh, 10 kilohertz and I know this from um, let me show because at 1 kilohertz I expect 0 degrees and you see that it's it's 0 here exactly yeah it can be further tuned with better components but this will be for another video thank you very much